I have now 100 hours in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I am going to give you a town tour and a house tour. So you know, all sorts of tours. This is my house. I think I have to upgrade it one more time. And I have a little flower garden and I love it. Outside I have, you know, roads actually. I have a garden gnome and my laundry. I have all the different bushes of fruit as well. Uh, it is still Easter time in the game. Here we have the barbecue station. That is pretty cute. It is done with simply pathways and fences. Over here we have my town hall, some public benches and some flowers and some trees. This is my one of my beach areas. Mm, I like that. Oh, there's a bubble. Over here I have my museum. I'm gonna do some more funny stuff around the museum um, shortly. So over here we have the residence of Rene, one of my first villagers. So I made it sort of cozy and pretty. Now we can run over to the other side, sort of. Here I have a bridge that is under construction. I actually had my bridge over here, but then I had to demolish it and uh, build it again. Here's a new town person, Claudia. She is okay. I don't know her much yet. Okay. One of my prettiest uh, places that I'm most uh, happy about is uh, the residence of Bengal. This place. So cozy. I, I like what I did there actually. And next to him lives Ruald. And he is a sports person, so he has his bike outside. So I try to match the homes of the residents with their personality. Also, if you didn't know this, you can give them decorations for their doors and they will actually hang that stuff up. Here we have a money tree with 99 bells on it times tree. Three in the tree. Mm, the turnip person, Katanik. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Here is my first bridge, which I'm gonna demolish and do some, you know, do a stone bridge instead. This is something I came up with, placing the pathways in this way, so that it is more like circles on the ground. It's a cozy sort of look to it, I think. Ooh, a bottle. So here we have the residence of, uh, I don't know, can't read the nameplate, but I know who lives here, Wick lives there. Here I have my campsite, a little popcorn machine, a little uh, toilet, and a stall and a microphone. I don't know what I was thinking. We can go further this way. As you can see, I have the placements of the um, logs, you know, the, the sitting things, so that I can do this every day. <laughs> I can also do that here with the placement of the table. Mm -hmm. So the bridge is coming here uh, across the town hall and then we get up here where I have my shopping district. Nook's Cranny, of course, can't wait for that to be upgraded. And my Able Sister store. Now, here we are back at my house, so I am actually really close to the shops. Over here we are coming over to a really cozy area, residential area, with a waterfall and all of that, and here lives Lionel. I gave him that door plate because it suits him. And here we have Stitch's home. Mm, I like that too. Over here we have this guy, Sly. So he is a crocodile, I think, or alligator. <laughs> so he has more of a jungle theme outside of his home. And he lives next to a pond and he, he likes fishing. Here I have a well and I have my stone path-ish thing going down here. Here lives Claudia, the pink tiger. So I made it sort of cozy there as well. Here's my first place on the beach that I talked about in my review video. And I, I'm really happy with my review video of Animal Crossing. So let's go up here again to the residential district. Do you come to the cloud district very often? No. Over here I have, um, <laughs> the eggs are everywhere, literally. And here lives Philbert. Yes, 
Yes, correct. Filbert. So he is a squirrel and he can fish here and he needs more furniture definitely outside his home. This is what I recently made. Just a, you know, pretty sort of waterfall area. And here I have my bigger flower garden. So where I tried to crossbreed some, some stuff. Gah, it got away. Over here, another uh, waterfall. And over this bridge. Over here we have Gladys' home. It is cozy. Kind of looks like a cemetery sort of style <laughs> with this sort of fence. But it's okay. And there he is sitting in his Easter outfit, enjoying his day, I think. And here I have a little sitting area and another pond. Have I shown you my entire town already? Well, this is basically my town after 105 hours playtime. You know what? On the Switch, you cannot see how much you have played a game up until you have played it for 10 days. So when 10 days passed, it said 85 hours. And I didn't think I had played this game that much, to be honest. So that was kind of shocking. Time flies by so fast when you're playing Animal Crossing. So it's like, I feel like I just started the game and just now started to get to know the residents and the people. <laughs> I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of what this game has. And that is after 100 hours. Okay, I totally forgot to show you my house. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm actually recording two videos in one day. So that is why you see me in this outfit all of a sudden. Lul what? Here is my main room. Nothing fancy going on. I am not happy with this room. It is under construction. Okay, so never mind this room. Here is my kitchen so far. Well, I am collecting kitchen furniture and I am definitely missing a kitchen sink, which is the main thing to have in a kitchen. So I am not done with my kitchen, but I like the vibe so far, I guess. Well, over here we have my bathroom and it's just bathroomy. What can I say? Uh, collecting bathroom things also. Uh, on the floor here I have a just a, you know, you can see that clearly that it is just a custom design. That is my bathroom. It's gonna be way more fancy later. I want another sink. That's one thing. If we go up to the upper room. I have not completed this room either. It's not gonna look like this at all. It's basically a, a place where I just dump all my items and you know for hope for the best but it's not gonna going to look like that and i i don't have any plans for that room i'm not sure yet now i have one more room to show you and that is upstairs which is basically just my master bedroom with a lot of bunny things going on that was my fantastic room tour so terraforming is definitely a thing that i enjoyed unlocking and it took literally 90 hours of playtime to unlock that. So this is a long game. It is the best game I have played this year so far. Now I haven't played a lot of games this year so far, uh, but this is the best. I enjoy logging on Animal Crossing every day because there's something new. Uh, there are new fossils, new stuff going on. Well, one thing is that the random encounters, random encounters of uh, Animal Crossing in my experience, I have met the ghost, I think, five times already. So there's not much variety in random encounters so far. Gulliver has washed ashore twice. So I feel like this is only the beginning. Mm, so uh, this is looking really good. This is a 10 out of 10 solid Nintendo game. And a bunch of people I know are also playing this game sick much. I don't even feel like I have played it that much, if you know what I mean. So, I hope you enjoy my videos, and if you have not watched all of my previous videos, I want you to be up to date on the channel, and, you know, watch the ones that you haven't seen yet. Also, another thing is that I like it when people go back to my, not, not necessarily really old videos, but um, older-ish videos, and uh, look around, or even just re-watch some of my older videos. Alright, that was my Animal Crossing uh, 100 uh, point video. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you later.